guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on the look that I am wearing right now which I like to call like wearable glam because you see like everyday glam tutorials and it's not necessarily something that you can do every day or like where to work or where to an interview or anything so I decided to do just kind of like my own twist on it and do just like a normal everyday look bumped up to the next level. So I threw in some color on the lower lash line, I brought in a nice gloss, I went for a nice base, and I'll just take you through this process. I did mess up my eyeliner really bad on this side, so there's a, like a jump in the middle of the tutorial because I had to fix my life and my eyeliner. But we got there. That just goes to show you, even if you make a mistake, you can always... You could always fix it. At the end of the day, it's just makeup. You could always wash it off. It might be a little bit of an inconvenience if you're rushing somewhere, but this isn't a tutorial for like 10 minutes. Like at the most, this will probably take you like 20, 25 minutes. If you mess up your eyeliner as bad as I did, then maybe 25 to 30, but most people could do this in 20 minutes. Like if you're not dilly dallying, like I like to do. When I get ready in the morning, I like put on a video, I put on my headphones, I, I get into like my space. So I wake up early to get into my space because it's my happy place. I just like ranted for a little bit about my happy makeup place. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely adore this look. I adore like the whole concept of like a wearable glam color look. So let's go ahead and jump in. Also sidebar, I'm wearing the new Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine lip gloss. And it's a beautiful gloss. It feels like a little tingly on the lips, but at the end of the tutorial, I don't know if you'll, I'll, I'll throw it in at the end of the tutorial, but I like stuck my tongue out to look cute and I tasted this. It tastes really bad. I was shocked. Like I make the stupidest face. So you'll have to stay tuned and watch that at the end of the video, but, but let's just jump into the tutorial. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Starting off with my perfect base down, I've done all of my foundation, my concealer, and my eyes are all primed and ready to go. Everything will be linked down below. Starting with the Tarte Clay Play Palette, I'm going with the middle ashy contour shade and using this to contour my cheeks. For my everyday face, I go for the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but for a more glam look, I go for a more intense contour, and this is what I get from this palette. Very pigmented, very intense, but it blends out beautifully. And then I blend it out with the Sigma Small Stippling Brush. Jumping in with the Too Faced Natural Face Palette, I'm taking the blush shade in the middle, Pink Sand, and adding this as my blush. When I'm going for a more dramatic look, I like to take a deeper, more mauve blush because I feel like it just adds more drama, it adds a little bit more depth to the face than a like lighter blush. Once again, taking a larger stippling brush from ColourPop this time and blending everything together. For my highlight, I'm taking another shade from the Natural Face Palette and applying this. This is Satin Sheets. It is a beautiful highlight, absolutely stunning. And I'm applying this with my ABH Highlight Brush. Once again, dipping back into the Tarte Clay Play palette, I'm taking the Eye Quad or Eye Trio in the middle and I'm defining my lid and my upper eye space. I'm just taking the lighter brown shade and just defining the crease and above it. I do have really hooded lids so I always take my crease shades up above my actual crease. And then I'm using the deeper brown tone to really define just the outer V of the eye. I'm going really simple up here on the top because I'm going to jump in later with a pop of color on the lower lash line. Once again, jumping back into my highlight, I love to match my highlight to my inner corner highlight, so I'm taking satin sheets and using that to highlight my inner corner. Now 
now that everything is done, I'm going to take a quick break to do liner and mascara. I messed up my aligner on this side of the face. I'm in a moment of silence for that. It took me a while to fix it, but we're okay. Jumping in to the Davina Cosmetics Bundle, their dupe for the Tarte Icy Betch Palette, I'm actually going to be taking one of their beautiful royal blue shades, the shade STFU, this beautiful shade right here, and I will be using this to line my lower lash line for a beautiful deep pop of color. I'm just taking a short shader brush and I'm not adding any glitter glue or anything. These shadows are beautiful and they're pigmented. As long as you stay within the lower lash line, they will stay all day. I'm just going back in and taking satin sheets once again to re-highlight my inner corner because I really want that to pop. Jumping in with the Urban Decay High Fine Lip Gloss in the shade Fuel is just a nude lip gloss that I'm applying over my foundation covered lips for a nice nude effect. And that is the completed look for my wearable glam. I basically just go a little bit harder on my contour, on my highlight, on my blush, and tone it down on the lips, and then go for a little bit more of a glam pop of color on the eyes. <laughs> and that, that is where I tasted this lip gloss. So a, a word of warning, this lip gloss does not taste good. Keep that in mind. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it and I'll see you in my next video.